Hello, my fantastic tech enthusiasts and loyal subscribers. It's a joy to see you all back here on another exciting Code Wednesday. And to our brand new viewers, a warm welcome to you. I'm Georgie, your guide to the world of electronics and coding. Before we dive into today's electrifying content, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to our returning subscribers. Your support means the world to us and is what keeps Code Wednesday alive and thriving. And to our new viewers, we're thrilled to have you join this fantastic community of learners and creators. Now, no matter if you're a returning friend or a fresh face, here's a little favor to ask. Please give that like button a gentle tap to show your appreciation. Share this video with fellow tech enthusiasts and don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss an electrifying Code Wednesday episode. All right, let's jump into today's adventure, shall we? We're about to embark on an electrifying journey into the world of electronic programming with the Arduino Uno. But first, let's lay down some essential electrical engineering theories to set the stage for our coding escapades. I'm absolutely thrilled to be your host for this series and I can't wait to see all the incredible projects and innovations that will come to life with each Code Wednesday episode. So stay tuned because this series is not just about coding, it's about unlocking your creativity and making technology dance to your tune. Thank you once again for being here and let's make this Code Wednesday one for the books. Now let's dive into the world of electronics and coding magic. Introduction to Electrical Engineering In the dazzling world of technology, where circuits hum with life and electrons dance to the rhythm of innovation, we embark on a journey into the realm of introduction to electrical engineering. This chapter is the gateway to understanding the very essence of electrical engineering and its profound role in the realm of Arduino programming. Key concepts in electrical engineering Circuits Picture the circuits as the lifeblood of electrical engineering. It's like learning the language of electrons, understanding voltage, current, resistance, and the intricate dance of components within a circuit is where the journey begins. Electromagnetism. Electromagnetic theory is the wizardry behind it all. It unveils the secrets of magnetism, the ethereal realm of electromagnetic waves, and the enchanting dance of electromagnetic fields, electronic components. Think of these as the building blocks of magic, from resistors to capacitors, diodes, transistors, and the miniature marvels of integrated circuits. They're the tools of the electrical engineer's craft. Power systems. Ever wondered how electricity reaches your home? Electrical engineers are the architects behind it all, designing power grids, power plants, and green energy systems to ensure a constant, reliable supply. Control systems. Imagine the power to make machines follow your command. That's control theory for you. A realm where electrical engineers weave the fabric of automation from industrial robotics to smart homes. So, welcome to the world of electrons, circuits, and boundless possibilities. Together, we'll journey deeper into the enchanting world of electrical engineering, unlocking its secrets and applying them to the thrilling domain of Arduino programming. Get ready to illuminate your mind and spark your imagination. Let's dive into the heart of electrical engineering. The importance of electrical engineering in Arduino programming. Welcome to the intersection of innovation and imagination. Here, in the world of Arduino programming, electrical engineering is not just a partner, it's the key to unlocking endless possibilities. Arduino programming is the canvas upon which creators paint their electronic dreams. It's an open source platform that beckons enthusiasts, hobbyists, and professionals alike to embark on a journey of interactive and embedded projects. But why is electrical engineering so essential in this vibrant realm? Let's explore. One, circuit design. Imagine your project as a symphony of components. To create this harmony, you'll need to design circuits that connect sensors, actuators, and various electronic marvels. This is where electrical engineering takes center stage, ensuring efficient and safe circuit designs. Two, component selection. 
In the world of Arduino, component selection is an art. Whether it's sensors that sense the world or motors that bring your creation to life, choosing the right components is crucial. Electrical engineers have a knack for selecting components based on specifications and project requirements. 3. Troubleshooting Even in the world of Arduino, hiccups happen. When your project encounters challenges, electrical engineering skills become your trusty guide. They help identify and resolve hardware issues. Whether it's a misbehaving circuit or a finicky component, 4. Optimization Efficiency is king, especially when it comes to power and resources. Electrical engineers have the magic touch for optimizing circuits, ensuring that battery-powered projects run longer and resource-constrained projects thrive. 5. Safety. Safety always comes first. Working with electricity requires respect and knowledge. Electrical engineers understand the nuances of handling circuits and components safely, preventing accidents and equipment damage. In this section, we'll embark on a thrilling journey exploring the harmonious synergy between electrical engineering and Arduino programming. You'll learn to wield electrical engineering concepts to create, adapt, and troubleshoot Arduino-based projects with finesse. By the end of this adventure, you'll possess the wisdom and skills to embark on exhilarating Arduino programming quests, all while harnessing the boundless power of electrical engineering. So gear up and get ready to fuse creativity with technology as we dive deep into the heart of Arduino programming, guided by the wisdom of electrical engineering. Let's begin this electrifying journey together. Understanding electricity. What is electricity? Electricity is like magic, but it's not really magic. It's a fantastic force of nature. It's what makes the lights in your home turn on, your gadgets work, and so much more. But how does it work? Well, let's break it down into some simple ideas. Charge it. Imagine tiny particles called electrons. They have a special property called electric charge. Some electrons have a negative charge, while others, call it protons, have a positive charge. You know how magnets can stick together or push each other away? Well, opposite charges attract each other, just like a magnet attracting something metal. And similar charges repel each other, like two magnets pushing each other away. Current. Think of electric current like a river of electrons flowing through a path like a wire. We measure this flow in units called amperes, or just A. Imagine, it's like counting how many cars are passing through a road at a certain time. Sometimes the electrons move in one direction, and sometimes they switch back and forth like a swinging pendulum. We call these two types of current direct current, DC, and alternating current, AC, voltage. Voltage is like the force that pushes the electrons along their path, just like wind pushing a sailboat on water. We measure this force in units called volts or V. It's like the energy difference between two points, kind of like a hill that makes a ball roll down. The steeper the hill, the faster the ball rolls. Resistance. Now, think of resistance as a kind of roadblock for the electrons. Some materials make it easy for the electrons to flow low resistance, while others slow them down high resistance. We measure this roadblock in units called ohms or O. It's like how some roads are smooth and easy to drive on, while others have lots of bumps and slow you down. So, electricity is all about these charged particles, electrons, their flow, current, the push that makes them move, voltage, and how easily they can move through different materials, resistance. It might seem a bit like magic, but it's really just science in action. Electric charge and current electricity is like a dance between tiny particles called electrons and protons. These particles have a special property called electric charge, and it's fundamental to how electricity works. Electric charge. Think of electric charge as a property that some particles, like electrons and protons, have. Electrons carry a negative charge, X, while protons have a positive charge, plus. It's a bit like magnets. Opposite charges attract each other, just like a magnet attracts something metal, while similar charges, like two positive charges or two negative charges, 
push each other away like magnets pushing each other apart. Electric current. Now, when these charged particles start moving, we have electric current. It's like a bunch of electrons going for a stroll. They move through materials that allow them to flow, like metals, when we give them a little push with something called voltage, which we'll talk about later. Electric current is measured in units called amperes. A. It's like counting how many electrons are taking that stroll. Voltage and resistance. Voltage and resistance are like the superhero duo of electricity. They're essential to understanding how electricity behaves. Voltage, V. Think of voltage as the electric push that gets electrons moving. It's like the force that makes a waterfall flow. We measure voltage in units called volts, V. So, when you see something like 5 volts, it means there's a force pushing electrons with the strength of 5 waterfalls. Voltage represents the difference in electric potential between two points in a circuit. A bit like the height difference between the top and bottom of a waterfall. Resistance, R. Resistance is like the traffic jam for electrons. It's a property of materials that makes it harder or easier for electrons to move through. Materials with high resistance slow down the flow of electrons like a road full of potholes, while materials with low resistance allow electrons to glide through like a smooth highway we measure resistance in units called ohms O. Oh. so when you hear something has 10 ohms of resistance it's like saying the road has 10 potholes per mile ohms law ohms law is like the superhero rule that connects voltage v current i and resistance r it's a simple equation v add i r this means that voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. It's a bit like saying the push, voltage, is equal to how fast you're driving, current, divided by how bumpy the road is, resistance. So voltage is the push that gets electrons moving, measured in volts. Resistance is like the road conditions, making it easy or hard for electrons to move, measured in ohms. And Ohm's law is the superhero equation that ties them all together. Together, they make the electric world go round. And there you have it, folks. Another exciting Code Wednesday in the books. We've dived deep into the world of electronic programming and a glimpse of electrical engineering, setting the stage for practical hands-on tutorials in the weeks to come. But we are not done yet. There's a lot more coding magic to uncover, practical projects to build, and fascinating discoveries waiting just around the corner so here's your mission dear viewers like subscribe and share if you've enjoyed today's journey and want to keep learning and exploring together hit that like button subscribe to our channel and share this knowledge with friends after all knowledge shared is knowledge multiplied and speaking of what's coming up next drum roll please brace yourselves for the hands-on practical tutorials that are about to drop on code wednesday it's where we put theory into action, sparking creativity and innovation like never before. So, mark your calendars, set those reminders, and tell a friend to tell a friend, because Code Wednesday is about to get hands-on, practical, and electrifying. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Until next time, stay curious, keep coding, and remember, the best is yet to come. See you next Wednesday for more code, more learning, and more fun.